<laughs> What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of The Sims 4. When we left off, I was about to throw a wedding. And that's what we're getting ready to do, dog. Wow. So we're not going to waste any time. Damn, who are all these girls? They all look alike, but they all look so damn good. I need to meet some different people, though. I need some more blonde girls in my life. Um, let's go ahead and have Tori get right to it. Fantasize about weddings. Get married to Wayne Collins. Well, let's give everybody a quick second to get situated. And then go ahead and... Wh what? The fiancé isn't around. What the fuck you mean the fiancé isn't around? There it is. Get married to Wayne Collins. Before this shit doesn't work at all. Damn, who's the bartender? You looking good, Keisha? Keisha Domingues? I have no idea what your last name is, but these people are looking hella good. Alright, they're getting ready to get married. So everybody should come. Bruh, don't you sit in the back. You sit in the front. You're the father. There you go. And Alice, you come sit next to me. There you go. And your brother need to sit up here too. Are y'all gonna get? Why are you sitting down, Tori? You need to get married. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Come on, Tori, you could do it. There we go. I need some lights. Let me some lights, people. We need some lights. Uh. What kind of lights, you ask? I don't really know. I need a damn spotlight. But I don't think they have spotlights. Oh, yeah, we definitely need some light. Um, what was that code for light? I don't even remember. Honestly, I could put a light right there, though. That almost looks like it's meant to be there. What about on the sides? That doesn't look bad. I, I could go with that. I could I could I could suck that up. No homo. <laughs> Alright, let's put the walls up. Alright, is this no, let's put the walls up. There we go. And now we could check out the wedding. Should we check it out from this angle or this angle? Where the hell is the piano pianist? Honestly, I think this angle might look a little bit better. Are they, are they actually getting married? Are they just kicking it with each other before the wedding? Nobody's watching though. Oh yeah, they are. They're getting married. It's a very calm wedding. I don't know where the hell my pianist is, but she needs to get her ass over there and play the piano. Alright, that was pretty cool. It was a little anticlimactic. Oh, everybody was watching? Look at everybody chilling, watching the wedding. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty realistic. Damn, Rachel looks good. Rachel almost looks better than Sage. I need to fix Sage's... I mean, not Sage... Alice. I need to fix Alice's face. I think Alice's face is a little too thin. Yeah, I think Rachel has the best face. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> look at my dude standing up chilling, looking like a boss. That's Don Corleone. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty cool wedding. I think that was pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> now everybody's about to go get drinks. All right, do me a favor, Justin. You go ahead and mingle, I mean, tend this bar. Because I need two people on the bars, because it's about to, go ha uh, about to go ham on the drinks. <laughs> Look at all these people. Yeah, go ahead and tend that bar for me. Get down on some of the traffic. And then, Tori, where's Wayne at? Where the hell is Wayne? Wayne, where you at, bruh? Where the hell is Wayne when you need him? 
Oh, the pianist is inside. A pianist. It's not pianist. It's the proper way to say that is penis. Pian- pianist. <laughs> is this Wayne? Where the hell is Wayne? Kareem. Bro, where did Wayne go? It's like three dudes here that look exactly like Wayne. I don't know where the hell Wayne is. That's not him, right? No, that's Octavio. Is this him? No, that's Kareem. Did Wayne just dip out? Hold up. Damn, I didn't know that other phone rang. Did you know if your phone would rang? Oh, shit. Hold up. I found Wayne. <laughs> I was on the phone and I ended up finding Wayne. Wayne was over here with Sage. Look at Wayne looking like a damn movie star or something. Looking looking clean like James Bond. Um, Tori, I forgot what the hell I even wanted Wayne to do. I wanted Tori and Wayne to do something together and I don't even remember what the hell it was. Oh, I was gonna have him. I was gonna have him fuck around. Why is this lady sleep? You are totally getting paid to sleep on the job. Get your dumb ass up, lady. Wake your bitch ass up. Where? I didn't know they actually came and woke them up. I can't believe she was sleeping. And she's supposed to be, I just, just crazy. Let's uh, go ahead and do some woohoo, some unprotected woohoo, which means it could lead to a baby. I mean, it is their wedding night, right? All right, cool. Time for a little bit of wedding balls deep action. Unprotected balls deep action, which means we could have a little, little baby girl or a little baby boy coming soon. Not really sure. I'm going to have Tori and Wayne move, it, move into this little crib that I made, though. Go on here and get some woo-hoo action in. And then, damn, man, they got you just out here, Sage. I almost want to talk to you. You just, you are too fine to be sitting by yourself. So, why don't you come outside? <laughs> like, everybody else is out here chilling, talking to each other. And I'm just looking like the coolest dude ever in life. And she's just in there looking sad. Yeah, there's Sage. Yeah, come on out here and have some fun with everybody else, Sage. Damn, Tori, you laid it on Wayne, put his ass to sleep. I didn't think he was going to actually stay asleep, though, but it's all good. Damn, this girl is muscular. Look at her legs. God damn. All right, what do we need to do to make this wedding perfect before I fuck around and not get any points? It says grab first slice. Damn, she made a lot of food. Grab first slice of what? Oh, the cake. Here's the cake. Remove wedding cake. Go ahead and cut the wedding cake. All right. And then thank some people for coming. I just want to at least get a gold medal real quick. Oh, did they share the cake together? I missed it. Damn. <laughs> this is like really close. But thro what does that say? But throwed flirt with each other. I have no idea what the hell that means. But I imagine Woohoo will fix it. Am I right? Stop talking to this dumbass girl and go fuck with your husband. Come on, before this damn thing is over. Okay, that didn't do anything. Did it? No. Alright, that didn't do nothing. Um, it's over with anyway. It was a good wedding. I just wasn't paying attention. No wonder this girl is fit. She busting out the push-ups. All right, just married. Congratulations on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together now? Yes, I would. How would I say no? It's just like okay or cancel. I need to go check outside my crib for some packages. The UPS driver, I think, came through. Okay, so this is the crib. We want to move Alice in with them even though I want them to move out on their own this little redhead is cute did I make her I think I did make her all right so right now it's just me my son and my wife that's cool and what I want to do is I think from the town you can manage the households and what I'll do is I'll put Tori and Wayne in that little crib over down to the right that I built the other day do, do we change into different outfits are they sitting on the edge of the pool? That is so fucking cool. Look at this. 
That looks like one of the this this right here looks like one of the pictures that they would take to promote the game. Hold up, let me get a good picture. Get one of them good Maxis pictures. Like this would be on the back of the back of the box or something. Like right there. I'm loving that picture though. Damn, this shit looks good. Damn. I like the little haze that the sun is giving off. This is definitely looking good. It's funny because some parts of the game are very realistic and some are more cartoony, but when you mix the two together, it works. All right, so I think it's time for us to go back to the crib. I definitely want to buy this house, though. So in the future, everybody, don't be surprised if you see this house in my life. I want to get Justin with, with Rachel. I'm not even lying. Like, Rachel is just too fine to be single, in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to let Justin do his thing. Did I send everybody else home? I didn't know you had to send everybody individually back home. Is it me or does it look like Sage's ass got bigger? All right, he's tending the bar. Does that mean he can't do anything else? At least he knows Rachel though, right? As long as he knows her, I can call her later. Yeah, he knows her. Okay, no romance. Go home, Justin. <laughs> She's not digging it. Damn, did everybody just leave? Where you going, Justin? Do you have to work today? And the answer is no. Perfect. Oh, I didn't know Justin was an athlete. I forget everything, I swear. Alright, well, Justin, you're the only one at the crib, bruh. I almost feel like Justin might need to get his own little house. Maybe like a bachelor crib. I don't know. Let's invite Holly over. Let's see what Holly's looking like. If I want to continue going with Holly, or do I want to make Justin kind of like a little bit on the bachelor side? <laughs> he called her while he was on the bathroom. I love that about The Sims 4. I swear I do. You could do so many other things while doing other things. Okay, here's Holly right here. Well, let's go ahead and embrace. Not really in front of the nasty toilet, bro. That's not really what I was going for. Uh, Holly, you cool and all. You know what? Let me make you over. Let me make you over. Can I make you over? That was a lot of words right in, in front. Let's do let's do testing cheats true. Okay, and then let's try and make her over real quick. Because if I can make her look a little bit better, she just looks a little teenagerish. I don't even know if she's still a teenager though. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't know she lived with her. Maybe this should be Justin's new girlfriend. This girl was such an accident, and she came out looking amazing. Oh, yeah, and this girl, too. See, when you compare her and her to her, it's like, eh. You're cute, but, nah. Oh, shit. I don't even know what to do. I think I'm going to have Justin date her. Did I do her outfits, or this is just one outfit? Yeah, I didn't do anything with her. She just looks good, natural. She's like one of them girls that don't even need makeup to look amazing. Like, they, they do, like, no makeup. But when she puts on makeup, it's like, holy shit. I like the way she looks. I might just have Justin date her. And I need to put this girl in some clothes. I got her out here, like, all the way. We need to put her in some real clothes, though. At least something. This is a cool little outfit, little holiday sweater. Um, what do we want to throw her in? Actually, let's throw her in this. And then let's make these shoes. Eh, should we go with the black shoes or white shoes? I like the way white shoes looks. Look. Um. Yeah, let's go with that. That's cool for right now. I just need to throw her in some clothes beside those leopard drawers. Those leopard drawers are very out there. What about her? I don't understand why these pants. Okay, there we go. Those are some cool pants, right? Uh, I almost like these leather ones a little bit better. 
but I think these actually work and go inside the boot. So we're going to keep these. And I like the dark blue. Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool look for her. All right, I was going to edit Holly. I just feel like, Holly, you look so dorky. Um, Maybe I give Holly some nice blonde hair. That makes her look a little bit more like an adult. And this outfit is definitely all wrong. <laughs> that shit is all wrong. I want to get her, put her in something nice, but something that's a little bit more young adultish. I actually kind of like this. Throw some leggings on her. I like this actually. This is a very chill LA girl kind of look, and I'm definitely digging that right now. I like that shit anyway. <laughs> I get a lot of hate for it, but I like what I like. So if you don't like it, then it's not my fault. Should I go with the black leggings? Oh, I should go with these leggings, shouldn't I? A little bit lighter. A little bit more of some light skin leggings instead of the dark skin leggings. I actually kind of like the light skin leggings. <laughs> Why am I calling them light skin leggings? Don't ask. Um... Actually, I think I'm going to go with the dark skin leggings. I like these, actually. It's a very cool outfit. And then we're going to throw the bracelets on her because you know I got to keep the jewelry game tight. I get hate for that, too. <laughs> I get hate on everything, but it's all good. You feel me? Because I know about style. These motherfuckers don't know about style. I know about style. Um, let me just throw her in a little heart pendant. Actually, we'll leave the necklace alone. And then for the earrings, what are we going to throw in the earrings? These actually grew on me. I ran across these the other day. I like the feathers, too. I almost feel like she should be wearing silver, though, instead of gold. And her eyebrows are definitely the wrong color. Can I change any of that? Yeah, I can. Cool. Yeah, I like them dark brown eyebrows or those black ones. With the blonde hair. And then for makeup. I don't know what this lipstick is I downloaded. But it looks kind of good. It's not, not bad. I wouldn't say it's perfect. But it's not bad. And then her eyeliner. Maybe we just throw her on the upper, upper, upper cat eyes. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me for sure. And I don't usually put this blush on the girls, but I almost feel like she needs it. And I don't know why I feel like she needs it. Eh, maybe not. I just feel like her face is very, like, pale. It might be this lipstick, though. But I don't want to go with that pink, bright-ass pink shit. And I don't really want to go with red. I can't stand that bright-ass lipstick. Unless it looks good. If it looks good and you could pull it off, it's cool. But she doesn't look like that. So we're going to go with the duller colors. Actually, this is fine. We go go with that. Go with that. And then we're going to go with the silver jewelry instead of the... We're going to go with the silver stuff instead of the gold stuff. Because I think the silver might just look better. What the hell is this? Oh, monster hands. Okay. That must have been part of the Halloween package. We're going to throw her in the silver jewelry. Yeah, I think the silver looks a little bit better with this outfit. And then maybe instead of the tan Uggs, we go with the... Actually, I think the tan Uggs looked cool. I also like the combat boots. I was just testing out some other stuff real quick. I think I'm going to go with the tan Uggs, to be honest with you. Can't really go wrong with tan Uggs and leggings and a sweatshirt. So that's what we're going to rock with. She looks a little bit more competitive against these girls now. Now she looks good. I think I like the way she looks now. Hold up. Let me see if I want to keep her hair that, that um, style. Because I definitely got a couple other hairstyles. I really don't want to cover up her face, though. Um, ooh, I kind of like this one. They don't have blonde, though? Eh, not really. Damn, that sucks, because I kind of like that one. What about this? 
That's Alice's haircut, I believe. And this one is just too much. I don't really like that one. This actually looks a lot like Ariana's hair used to look. Um, It's not bad, but it's too much, though. It's too much going on. Where's that Tyra Banks hair? Oh, this looks good. Maybe I'll go with the straight blonde. I'm kind of digging this. Yeah, I'm digging this. I like this. We're going to go with the straight blonde. She looks like a, a supermodel. Uh, and then we're going to throw in some new eyebrows, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Justin's staying with Lori now, or whatever the hell her name is. What is her name? Holly. I like Holly. Holly looks like this girl that I, I know, that I talk to every once in a while. Yeah, I like Holly. Holly looks like a Russian supermodel. Not even a supermodel. She just looks like one of them, them Russian girls. Or them foreign girls with that straight blonde hair. I'm definitely loving that. So I'm keeping that. Um, where we at on time? Damn, this episode is 30 minutes. Well, I know now that Justin is staying with Holly. She just needed a little makeover. She was a cute little teenage girl before. Now she's a young adult. She, look, she needs to look a little bit more on the young adult side. And I'm loving that straight blonde hair. That shit looks amazing. So, yeah. I like that. Do you guys like her? I like her. I can't click her. Oh, I'm in the wrong house. I forgot. As soon as you do edit, it, like, messes it up. Let's go see what she looks like. I, I like the way she came out. That sweatshirt is almost a little too big. They should have fit it a little better. But I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something different. Almost makes me want to make Alice's hair straight blonde like that. I like that blonde. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and sleep with Justin then since he's she's right there. Yeah, that's cute. You and your girlfriend. Shout out to your girlfriend. Damn, she really does look like one of them girls on Instagram. But uh, all right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode here. Um, post in the comments how you guys like Holly. Post in the comments um, if you want Tori and Wayne to get their own house or you want me to move them back into the main crib or do you want me to build that crib that we just threw the wedding at and move into there with a couple different people um, in my family. So thanks for watching, everybody. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you guys can hit me up. I chiz at up, chiz at with you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.